A human monster. A human, A human monster. monster. Hello. Hello, we are Star Fandom. Today we are saying everything. The WandaVision trailer. Number two. Number two. Well, not number one, <laughs> but there will be a link below in the description if you want to watch that as well. Let's go ahead and pop over the reaction window. Are you guys excited about this show when it comes out? Yeah. Yes, and that's why I've been wanting mm -hmm. to watch the trailer. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so what's a single gal like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man. A human one. A human, a human one. one. What's his We are an unusual couple. <laughs> We just don't know what to expect. Close. Okay, two things. Wow. Two things. One, that show is going to make me cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like hardcore. I ain't even going to lie about that. <laughs> Shit, what was two? It looks really creepy, actually. Like a good creepy. Oh, two, we were just talking about how people don't handle death logically. She literally created a whole world around herself. But did she do it? I think she did. Because it sounded like someone was trying to get through to her saying, Wanda, who is doing this to you? Well, in the different that comic books I have mean read, that she, didn't do it. she doesn't always control it. But when she is upset, it happens on accident sometimes. Yeah. So it might not be anyone doing it to her. It might be her doing it without her own knowledge. Maybe. Or it could be someone out there is driving up her like her anxiety and her depression and stuff and it's kind of breaking her mentally and then she's doing this to cope no, I think it has to do with Vision having been killed yeah. he's one I mean, of the few that never got brought back yeah. can I tell you something guys what's up sure. when I was seeing and I knew that that was pretty cool and when they back go together that was pretty cool Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in some of the comics I was reading from Marvel, Doctor Strange is trying to help her a lot. And I know the Doctor Strange on the multiverse is going to um, overlap a little bit with WandaVision. I know it's going to have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. So, And in the comics, Doctor Strange, a lot of the times, is the one who has to undo everything she does on accident. And he's all—he always seems to be super pissed about it in the comics. Like he's a rather ornery character. Hey. Well, can you just imagine? I just fixed reality. Really? It's been two months. Yeah, he—he he got pissed in the last one, and she was like really broken and like crying. She was really upset, and I was just like, "Damn, Doctor Strange, why you gotta be like that?" <laughs> no, hey. I have two things. Number <laughs> one, I don't think that got to happen. Number two, we're not talking about. But the shows but the and show stuff is based and the comic, the comic books they're always off, intertwine. Yeah, they're based off of the characters yeah. from the comic book. So they do still they're add some of it in there. Really so while the stories may not have anything to do with it, like obviously Wonder Woman 84 is going to have absolutely nothing to do with what Wonder Woman is going through right now, it'll still have a little bit of an overlap. 
Yeah. Like, it's going to have Max Lord in Wonder Woman 1984, but I'm pretty sure Liar Liar is not in it. Yeah. Nobody oh, knows what liar. I'm talking about. <laughs> liar Liar. I don't know if I read comics. Max Lord's daughter. Ooh. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's a whole thing. Ooh, daughter. <laughs> daughter. The ba- a bad guy's daughter. Let's yeah. just leave it at that. We'll find out. You'll find Din out a whole lot about him daughter. when you watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Din Jarin's daughter. Oh, it is him, isn't it? It is him. He plays Max Lord. Don't, wow. don't kick me anymore. <laughs> Ma- the Mandalorian plays Max Lord in Wonder Woman 1984. So he plays a bad guy. <gasps> he plays a bad guy in it. So <gasps> look, Baby Yoda. It's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a daughter in it. Or at least I'm pretty sure they're not going to bring her into it. If they do keep Max Lord around for a while, they could possibly, potentially, but they don't plan on it, probably, in this movie. Unless they're gonna do they a already movie. have Cheetah in there. Unless they're planning to do like a quick cameo kind of thing. Nah. Because apparently, know. and I didn't catch it when we watched it. Because he didn't even through. know he had... No, he didn't know. But in Spider-Man the Homecoming... Comic, it showed that he was so, having tests on her. Why is Baby on the dead? In Spider-Man uh, Homecoming, there was a guy in there who was apparently um, the uncle... From into the Spider Verse, mm. and he mentions, you know, I want you to get these weapons out of this neighborhood. I got a nephew who lives here, and that's supposed to be, you know, Miles Morales. And so it was just a quick little throw in, hey, yeah. here's Uncle Aaron. So maybe yes, he'll he have like, famous for doing that. Yeah, like you'll see something in the background. It'll be like a family picture. And it'll have a little girl in it or something like that. Maybe, or well, maybe even but the, Max Lord never had family pictures of them. He ended up doing a lot of experimentations on her, and she didn't even know about her father. And then eventually her powers mm-hmm. came out. It was a whole thing. I don't know. Hi. Trust we'll me. We'll have to find the out. The last comic was crazy. I can't wait for Wednesday. I, I have a question. <laughs> Why is Baby Yoda that playing it's back up? Because he's just an actor. And they're different characters. <laughs> That's what actors do. Any to add, Julius? No. All right. Well, we have a bunch more trailers to get to, so we should probably wrap this up. If you like our content, like, comment, subscribe. Like, win by, 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 win